say it one more time. cut strips of your fabric whatever it is i chose to use steam fabric cut it just under the length of the belt hoop see this is just under two inches so I cut it just over two inches so I can have a little bit of seam allowance when I sew the pieces together and it's going to be right under the width of this hoop. Cut on along the dotted line, like I did for this one. So now that we have two strips long enough to fit around my waist, I'm going to sew them together by each end. You can do it this two ways. You can iron each piece like this. And sew them together like this, or you can can open them up and sew them together like this, and then fold them and iron it. That's the way I think I'm going to do it because. It's jean material, and jean material can be pretty thick, and this makes it easier to sew together. You want to sew with a shorter stitch and no zigzag. So I'm putting this on length one. shorter the stitch the more it is to stay together now that we have the stitch we want to cut off any excess edges And this is what it looks like when you turn on the right side. Now we want to fold this up. Iron these pieces. Sew together and start making our belt holes. 
Okay, I've pinned the two sides together. Now we will sew them so we won't have any raw edges. This took a while, so if you don't have patience, um, you better get some. And I just want to take the first pin out before I sew it because I don't want the needle to get caught on the pin. And here we go. And we want to have um, the thread length set on one. Now that we have the edges sewn together, we want to close the ends with the two inch zigzag and a two inch regular stitch, both ends. Now I'm gonna create some belt hoops. So what I wanna do now is put holes in my belt. We're gonna take this thingamajiggy, the hole puncher for material, and press it down until you hear like a snap. One hole, and these holes are spaced one inch apart. Now I have to make them bigger. Now that I put the buttonholes in there, I'm going to put the second eyelet with this multifunctional tool. Make sure the pointy part goes in the front of the eye hole and press down evenly, straight. Because if you do not, it will not center properly. See, I got the first one centered properly. I didn't press down straight on the left, on the second one. So I have to use my handy dandy pliers. And move the Part that didn't get smushed over the cloth and smush it down at the same time. See, I have two eyelets now. So now, got the belt done and it fits perfectly inside these eyelets. Stay tuned while I make my hat accessories.